being able to factor out binomial factors is a really important tool in solving larger, more complicated problems. It doesn't often get presented the way this example is. This usually is more like the middle of a problem that you'll be facing, but it is helpful to see it at this point and get some practice just factoring them now. When I say binomial, I mean two terms. So you notice both parts of this uh, expression here have an x plus 5 in them in parentheses. Two terms meaning the x plus 5, those two parts. And it matches in both of them. So we can look at this as being a common factor and factor it out the same way that we were factoring out the greatest common factor in other problems. When we factor it out, remember, we really are just taking it out and putting it in front. So we're going to remove that part and write it right out in front. Then we typically, in parentheses, put everything that's left. Well, if we look at this part by part, term by term, 3x squared times x plus 5. If I remove this x plus 5, what's left? Yep just the 3x. Now for the second one, minus 2 times x plus 5. Now if I remove that x plus 5, all I am left with is the minus 2. And that is this expression in its fully factored form. As I said, it's a little unusual to get a problem presented just like that, but this is something that you will run into as one step in larger problems, and it's a very important part. So it's good to practice it and see it on its own like this.